Hi guys and welcome back to VW Farm. I'm Darren and today we're on our way to London to go pick up a 1962 VW Beetle that's been sat for 30 years in a field. So we're basically saving it from the scrapyard. So we'll see you there. It's 1962 Beetle now, and it's uh, in a bad way, but it has got an engine, it's got a few dents and a few holes in it, and apparently it's been sat in a, a garden for a long time. Needs lowering. Ooh, it? Yeah. Well, let me unhook the witch. Yeah, go on. Yeah, 
second easiest one to go on, I reckon. As you've seen, we've got this beetle on the trailer. We just need to get it strapped down. But it actually does have an engine, which is quite a surprise. For one so old, they never seem to have one. Oh, it's uh, slightly dirty. It's like something's been living in there. I think it's seized, but we'll have a look at it when we get back home. Now, I'm going to have a look inside this car. The one thing that's slightly different to the other beetles that we have is that there's actually a switch on the floor there, which is for the headlights. That's the accelerator cable, so it's got the three pedals plus a foot switch. So that's quite unique. So his bonnet's slightly dented, but I think that's popped out nicely. There's a little bit of welding at the front, but it's actually a longer bonnet. So I think I might put that in the car when we get going. So I'm going to get this 1962 Beetle strapped down now, so we can be on our way home. So this car was fully restored in 1990, had a, a new engine rebuilt, but unfortunately, after that, it just got left in his garden for 30 years. So the car originally would have been a six volt, but we found out or we looked at the bulbs and it's actually a 12 volt, so it's all been converted properly. this beetle and we're uh, really pleased to have it it's quite an old one for us but it has got some uh, unfortunately some rust issues I think the worst part for me is this front window there not right sure about that that's the first time we've had one there go there that's so bad unfortunately but I think we'll uh, set the wheels off tomorrow, fit the new wheels and see if we can get off the trailer. So we'll do that tomorrow. Lad. We'll get this car unstrapped. I would know we put some air in the tyre see if they blow up. But I think on this occasion, we've no chance. Let's see if we can take these wheel nuts off. Unfortunately, this wheel has gone. It's got holes in it. Oh, lovely. The very little those ones. Wheels. Let's get this car jacked up. Let's swap these wheels. Right, let's get this wheel on. Slightly fiddlier, these ones. So I've done the front two, so I'll let this down, then we'll jack up the back, see if we can get it off. I've got that under the centre, there's actually a piece of metal there. Let's see if this will move forward. Oh.
Now we're off the trailer, take this wheel off, see if we can turn the back wheel. So I'm going to try and give it a hit with the hammer. Uh. Oh. Get me socket on there, see if it'll twist. A big socket. Oh, come on. That'll do us. I think that'll probably roll once you get a tire on. That'll do for one side. Oh, brilliant that. Try the other side. Still slightly catching. Let this down. Now roll it. See if it will roll. <laughs> Lovely. So that's the first time I think it's rolled in about 30 years. So I'm going to uh, have a look at the engine now. And I'm gonna, I think I'm going to take this deck lid off. So there is a light, but the uh, wire's not connected. Oh. So that unfortunately has bent there. They should be straight, so. So have a look at this engine now. It's all full of uh, his garden. But the main thing is, is will it turn? So if we... Try it. I'll check if it's had any oil in it. Oh. Oh, it looks like it has. Give it another dip. That's surprising, so it doesn't look like it's had water in it. So the distributor is missing, but there is a lot of gunge. You need like a spring. Well, that's only tightening the nut, unfortunately. It's stuck, seized up, I think. So I'll take this engine out, see what we think. Right then, thank you for watching. Please give us like and a subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.